In question 15, the problem statement says that I have a total of rupees 300 in coins of denomination rupees 1, rupees 2, and rupees 5. So I have three kinds of coins, and the total value of these coins is rupees 300. So we are also told that the number of rupees 2 coins is three times the number of rupees 5 coins, and the total number of coins is. 160. How many coins of each denomination are with me? So we have to basically find out how many coins of rupees 1, how many ki coins of rupees 2, and how many coins of rupees 5 do I have. So just to help you visualize uh, the information better, I have drawn this figure representing the three kinds of coins that we have, rupees 1, rupees 2, and rupees 5. Now we are told that the total number of coins is 160 and we are also told that the number of 2 rupees coins is 3 times the number of 5 rupee coins. So what we can do, the way we can start solving the problem is we can assume that the number of 5 rupee coins is x. Okay. Now this means that the number of 2 rupee coins will be 3 times the number of 5 rupee coins. So the number of 2 rupee coins will be 3x. So once again, the number of 5 rupee coins I have assumed as x. So the number of 2 rupee coins will be 3x because that is given to us in the problem statement. And we are also told that the total number of coins is 160. So how can I write the number of 1 rupee coins in terms of x? Well, the total number of coins is 160. And from this, I can subtract the number of 2 rupee coins and the number of 5 rupee coins. So I can subtract 3x and x. So this is the number of 2 rupee and 5 rupee coins. If I subtract them from 160, I will get the number of 1 rupee coins. So this will be equal to 160 minus 4x. So the number of 1 rupee coins is 160 minus 4x. All right. Now we have found we have uh, written the expression for the number of coins of each denomination. Now let's write the values of those coins as well. So I have 160 minus 4x coins of rupees 1. What will be their rupee value? So their rupee value will be rupees 160 minus 4x itself because the value of each coin is uh, rupees 1. What about the number, what about the 2 rupee coins? So I have 3x 2 rupee coins and the value of each coin is 2. So the total value of these 3x coins will be rupees 3x into 2 or rupees 6x. And now what about the number of 5 rupee coins? Uh, so I have x 5 rupee coins and the total rupee value of these 5 rupee coins will be 5 into x or rupees 5x. So I have these many rupees in 1 rupee coins, these many rupees in 2 rupee coins and these many rupees in 5 rupee coins and the total rupees, the total number of rupees I have is 300. This is also given to us in the problem statement. So the sum of these three amounts should be rupees 300. And this is how we get an equation in x. So let's solve this. So let me remove the rupee symbol and write this equation again. So we have 160 minus 4x plus 6x plus 5x. This is equal to 300. Okay, so on the left side we have 160 and then we have minus 4x plus 6x is minus 2x and plus 5x is 3x. So we have 160, uh, oh, sorry 7x, so 160 plus 7x on the left side and on the right side we have 300 and now what we can do is take this 160 and transpose it to the right side. So we will get 7x on the left side. And on the right side, we will get 300 minus 160 or 140 on the right side. And this means that if we divide on both sides by 7 now, we will get x is equal to 140 by 7 and 140 by 7 is 20. So we will get x is equal to 20. So this means uh, that we can now find the number of coins of each denomination. So how many 1 rupee coins will be there? So 1 rupee coins will be 160 minus 4x. 
if x is 20 then 4x is 80 and 160 minus 80 is 80 so i have 80 1 rupee coins what about 2 rupee coins how many 2 rupee coins do i have uh, in terms of x so i have 3x 2 rupee coins and if x is 20 then 3x is 60 so i have 60 2 rupee coins and finally how many 5 rupee coins do i have so i have x 5 rupee coins and x is 20 so i have 20 5 rupee coins so the answer to the problem is that i have 81 rupee coins 62 rupee coins and 25 rupee coins and this completes question number 15. to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers